Hail to you, I am Ishka, Paladin in Training. In today's video, we will look at BSTs in OBS Studio. BSTs are virtual studio technologies. They will be programs that OBS can use to make edits to your microphone. Edits like cleaning up background noises, overhead fans, PC fans, mouse and keyboard clicks, and really isolate what your microphone is recording. Before we begin, let's set OBS so that we can monitor what our voice sounds like. To begin, start with settings, go to advance, and under audio, under audio monitoring device, you choose your current headset. Then head to your microphone in the mixer window and click the gear and go to advanced audio properties. From here, you'll select your microphone and go to monitor only, mute, output, meaning you only you can hear your voice. Click the Reaper plugins link down in the comments below and they take you to this website. Select the installer that best suits your system. These installers are EXC and easy to install. Once they're installed, open OBS. Select the gear next to your microphone and go to filters. Here is where we add our VSTs. If you have any other filters on like I do now, turn them off. Now we add our first VST by either clicking on the plus on the bottom left below and selecting VST plugin or right click add and VST plugin. Rename this re fear. Once you've named it, select from the drop down menu re fear standalone, then click open plugin interface. This window shows you your current room noise profile. Mine is on, so to show you what it sounds like before the VST, I will turn it off for a brief moment. As you can see, this VST will help eliminate sounds from the room, PC fans, or other present background noises. A tip to gamers, once this is set up, run your favorite game or any program that causes your graphics card, your PC fans to turn on, come back and redo this process. I have to tell you the steps first and then demonstrate because the VST will pick up my voice and think it is part of the background noises. So listen and watch. Go to mode and select subtract. Now you have to be quiet for this next step. Check automatically build noise profile. Wait a few seconds and then uncheck. Now you have a room noise profile. The background sounds should be eliminated. If you still have sounds, redo the steps and make sure that the eyeball next to your audio filter is open. And you can hear the sound of the fans is gone. Next, we will add the compressor. Like the VST before, right click, add VST. Rename to ReComp. Select the ReComp standalone in the drop down and open plugin interface. This VST will help normalize your voice. When you begin to speak loudly or shout, you can have peaking. This will eliminate that. The settings, for the most part, are untouched. What you want to do is set ratio to 2 and the high pass of 61. This helps eliminate machine hum caused by poor insulation of devices that have cables. The threshold slider, you want to move so that the middle of the slider is just at the top where your voice registers. You can see mine is just about here and you can see that red line to the right begins to normalize the voice. The last VST will be the equalizer or the EQ. This will bring clarity to the sounds that are your voice, even if you have a soft voice or a voice with more bass to it. 
to add, right click, add, BST plugin. Rename to EQ. Select from the drop down menu, re EQ standalone, and open plugin interface. You can see a line with four points on it. As you manipulate or reposition these points anywhere on this grid, it will manipulate your voice in real time. So to start, we will set one to about five, set two to about two, three to about negative five, and four to about five. And you can hear the dramatic change in the voice. The bass is played out. It's more clear. It's easier to hear me. You can change point four from a high shelf to a low pass, and you can immediately hear how dramatic it changes the sound of your voice. Depending on the room you're in, depending on your personality, the overall theme of your content, play with these points, play with these settings, find out what best works for you. I have a bass heavy voice, so I find these settings work best for me. So I'm going to continue to use this setting. If you guys have any other questions with VSTs, please put in the comment down below at me at Ishka TV. You can find me on Discord, Ishka TV. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.